So have you ever wondered if it's possible to build the website of a billion dollar company on high level? Well, today I'm gonna try to build Tesla's official website from scratch on GHO. What I'm gonna do for this video is to rebuild three different sections from the easiest one first and work myself to more complicated sections afterwards. The first section that I'm going to rebuild is this page right here. This is the Model 3 product page. I'm gonna go to high level and I'm gonna create a new website. I'm gonna give it a name, Tesla site create and then here we'll start with the model 3 product page and since I'm going to build this entirely from scratch I'm going to click on create from blank right here all right so I am on the website editor first I'm going to create a full width section that has two columns and what I see I need to add is a headline sub headline and two buttons so let me just do that very quickly a headline and then a sub headline and then last I'm going to add a button here left align the headline the sub headline and the button as well right here copy this right here so model 3 long range so i'm going to paste this here this i want to make it a lot bigger so 52 what i do notice is that i want to give more space in between this sub headline and the button so let me just do that very quickly i think what i'm going to do right now is style this button a little bit more you see how here it's a lot smaller different color and different text for the text i'm going to do order now for the font i'm going to select i think 14 for the margin here let's do 60 on both sides the one thing that you may notice is that there's a lot more space here from the top to where this section starts so i'm going to click on the actual section right here and then for the padding let's do 300 pixels now i want to make it so that the button is of this shade of blue i have this side called coolers.co if you have watched my videos you know that this is like a cool color palette selector and generator what i'm going to do is click on this right here select the picker tool and then click on this blue right here so now i have the exact shade of blue for that button i'm going to click this right here copy this and then i'm gonna add that color to this button right here to do that i'm gonna click on this right here and i'm gonna add a custom color click add right here and then paste the hex code right here select add and now that i have this button styled what i'm gonna do is duplicate it so that i have now the second button and of course i'm gonna add some more space down here so let's just do i think 10 i'm gonna change the color of this button and the writing so if i click on the picker tool right here i see that this is the shade of dark gray or black so i'm going to copy this right here i'm going to add a new color just how i did a second ago so i'm going to click this right here paste it just like this click add all right so now this looks pretty similar what i'm going to do now is add the background image so i'm going to go back here click on this and then add the image and i've already downloaded all of the images that i'm going to use for this video so now you see kind of like the different images right here i'm going to click this right here and you see that it's not quite the same so actually what i'm going to do is instead of adding it to just the section i'm going to add it to the entire page and you'll see what i mean in just a sec so let me copy this url from here and then click on this background icon right here and then i'm going to paste it here so now i actually have the image spanning the entire section of this site for the color i'm going to make it white and then same for this right here what i'm going to do now is i'm going to save this and i'm going to preview so this is what i built and this is tesla's actual website so there's a few things that we need to do to make it so that it's exactly the same by the way this navigation bar right here i'm actually going to go ahead and try to recreate it towards the end of the video anyway so let me go back to high level and right now we had 300 pixels i think what i'm going to do is make it so that it's 400 i want to give it more space here on the side so for the padding in this section i'm going to make it so that there's 40 on both sides just like this so again my website right here and tesla's website right here you see pretty close pretty similar of course we could spend more time to make it so that it's exactly the same but for now let's remake the second section that i wanted to build on high level for this video it's the model 3 info page or something like that so as we see right here we see this main section like here and then we have kind of like some text here and then a video right here and at the end we have a form with the image right here let's go back to high level and start a new page from scratch let's go back here we add a full width section we're going to add a one column row with a headline and after that we have a sub headline just like this let me just copy this paste it right here for the headline i have a font size of 52 right here what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add another one column row right here in this case what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to add a divider and you'll see why in just a sec i'm going to make this divider transparent just like this and in this whole row what we're going to do is add the image as the background that you see right 
here. For now, let me click this right here, click on the background image, and I'm gonna click this image right here. It's way too small, so I'm gonna first make it so that it's full center. And for now, I'm just gonna give it some more padding. So let's do 140 here at the top and 140 here at the bottom as well. The next section that I'm gonna do is this section right here, or first of all, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add this button right away. I'm gonna add another row right here, and I'm gonna make it so that it's a one column row with a button. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the font and the colors again using this picker tool right here so that I can select the actual shade of that button and then change this very quickly and for the text I'm gonna make it so that it's black so that we can actually read that this of course needs to be a lot smaller so we'll make it so that it's 16 as well now that we have this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it so that this button is left aligned so let me just do that very quickly here and I'm gonna hit save let me go ahead and actually do this navigation bar very quick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a section and this section is going to be a two column row and let me just put it here at the top here on the left hand side I'm going to add a navigation bar just like this and then on this left side right here I'm going to add these buttons right here what I'm going to do for my case is swap them with social media icons so let me just do that very quickly and then make it so that there's only three so I'm going to delete these other ones right here business name I'm going to toggle it off right here and for the actual logo let me go ahead and add it very quickly so it's this one right here and then I want to make it so that this is kind of like in the middle what we had right here this is way too thick so let me just play around with the spacing to make it a lot thinner all right so I spent some time making this section a lot better and I played around with the spacing to make it a little bit thinner so let me just go ahead and preview this again this is what we have right now and this is Tesla's actual website so you see it's very similar for this section what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna add a two column row just like this this. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same trick that I did earlier. I'm going to add a divider. This divider will be transparent just like this. And for the actual background, I'm going to go ahead and hit video. And then I have the video. I think it's this one right here. I'm going to make it so that it's cover. So it covers the entire section. And then here I'm going to add the actual text, which is a headline and a paragraph. So I'm going to add actually a sub headline and a paragraph like this. Let me go ahead and copy the actual text. So it's this right here, and then do this right here. Make sure that this is left aligned. The dimensions of this is still too thin, so let me just go ahead and make it so that it has 40 at the top. And then I'm gonna add some more space here in my divider as well, make it so that I have 60 here at the top and then 60 here at the bottom as well. I'm gonna skip the search bar for now, and I'm just gonna do this right here very quickly let me just duplicate this section kind of it's going to be the same format in this case you see that we have a form on the left hand side and an image on the right hand side i'm going to get rid of this background video and instead of having a divider i'm going to make it so that i have an image let me just add that image very quickly and then here will make it so that it's the actual car image. In this case, I don't have this image loaded on my environment, but I'm just going to add this cyber truck, but you get the idea. And instead of this, I'm going to get rid of all of this right here. And I would just add a go high level form. And I haven't created this exact form. So I would have to spend some time trying to create it. But for now, I'm just going to add a form that I already have right here. So let's just do this one for now. And you get the idea. It's not perfect, but it's just for the purposes of this video. Let me go ahead and preview and show you what this looks like now. My website, Tesla's website, my website, Tesla's website. So you see very very similar and you see that when i scroll down here we have a cyber track with this form of course i would spend more time trying to make it better but anyways you get the idea for the last part of the video i'm going to show you how to do the entire home page of tesla's website i'm going to show you how to do this section this section and even this section i'm also going to show you how to do the nav bar right here so you see that when i scroll down it disappears and when i scroll up it appears again but it also changes color when you scroll all the way to the top and when i hover let's say over vehicles you see that there's different vehicles which i'm going to try to do on high level i'm going to go back to high level and i'm going to go back to the model 3 product page that we started earlier this is a solid base so i'm just going to start working from this one right here first of all i'm gonna make it so that i get rid of this background right here we don't need it and instead what i'm saying is that there's kind of like different sections each with their own background so in this case we have this background that which is the first section then we have the model y by itself then we have the model 3 by itself and so on so let's just build this right here very quickly first i'm going to click this right here click on the media url right here and select my actual image which in this case it was this one right here 
here and right now there's a lot of space at the top i'm gonna make it so that there's just 80 for now i'm gonna get rid of this right here because we do need the one column and make sure that everything is centered right here if you take a look at this right here you see that there's two buttons for now let me copy this right here go back to high level paste it just like this and then i don't think we need a sub headline so i'm gonna get rid of it right here i'm gonna add a new section with two columns so that we can have two buttons side by side kind of like this and make sure that i center both buttons like this and the buttons are going to be white so let me just fix that very quickly and fix the text as well i've added the buttons now and they're too far apart so i'm going to make it so they're a little bit closer just like this and of course i'm going to add some more space here at the bottom so let's do 140 let's do 340 for now let me just get rid of a lot of that space in between the headline and the button. So just making sure that the padding around that area is zero. This is what we have right now. And this is Tesla's actual website. The one thing that you notice is that we still have the nav bar, which I haven't done. So let me go ahead and add it on high level as well. What I've done is that if you remember on the second part of the video, I created the nav bar. What I did is that I saved it as a template. So I'm going to add it very quickly by selecting here the sections template and I saved it as Tesla nav bar. So let me just add it there. And now you see how we have this nav bar here. I need to make it so that it kind of blends as you see right here. So what I'll have to do is I need to make it so that I give some negative padding to this. So for now, let's do minus 60. But what happens is that we can't really see the items they're behind. So let me add some code. So to make it so that the elements are in front of this right here. All right, so now I've made it so that these buttons are in the front and the way that I did this is by adding some code as you see right here. As I scroll down here, we see this section right here, which is kind of similar, but the buttons are not here at the top, but rather here at the bottom. Let me actually spend some time designing this and I'll show you the final result. All right, so I spent some time building this homepage of Tesla's website. I added this section right here. I added a headline, subheadline, and the paragraph right here. And I made it so that these buttons are at the bottom. You may be wondering how is it that I made so that I left this big gap right here. And again, I added this section right here with a divider that I gave a lot of margin both at the top and at the bottom. And then once I had this section, what I did is I duplicated this section. So you see kind of like I have this section and then they duplicate and I changed the text right here and the image so that's what i'm going to do right now so for model y it's the model 3 and i think the lease starts at 299 and then for the actual background image i'll just select the different one which is this one right here so there you see how very quickly once i built this section right here i was able to build this section and then it would be the same for the next section which is the model x the model s and so on going back to the website editor you see that now i have these three sections right here the model 3 the model y and then the main hero section i'm also going to make it so that this nav bar will be responsive so that when i scroll down the nav bar disappears and when i scroll up it appears again to do this i'm going to use my notion doc right here so if you already have my notion doc this is tutorial 3.5 how to create a custom shopify style top banner but if you don't know what this is it's a document that my brother and i have created as we build websites for ourselves for our clients and it's literally what takes our go ahead level websites to the next level beat the competition and stand out let me go ahead and preview to show you my final result i lowered this a little bit so you see how this is tesla's actual website and this is my own website that I built on high level the overall feel is very very similar the last thing that I also rebuilt which I didn't get as much time to explain because this video would be too long is the actual menu right here here so this is tesla's super menu and this is what i was able to do on high level so it's not quite the same but this is a new feature that high level recently dropped which is what made it possible for me to actually build this right here i'll go back to high level and show you how you can do this very quickly if i click at this navigation bar right here you see that now when we add a new item we have two options instead of one we can add a menu item which is the ones that we've traditionally been able to add, or we can add a mega menu. Now with a mega menu, what you can do is you can literally start building kind of like how you would build on the actual website editor. So you can add images, text, buttons, and so on. When I hover over that specific section, you see how now I can build kind of in the same manner that I'm able to build in the rest of the website. So the way that I was able to achieve Tesla's super menu is that if you take a look at this right here, you see that there's two rows i have a row here at the top and a second row here at the bottom i have five columns for each 
four for the cars and then the last one for these items right here which is kind of like the same thing that tesla had on their site that's how i was able to recreate this menu on high level anyways this is how i rebuilt tesla's website on go high level so you see how with the tools that high level gives us we can still build very beautiful websites if you're somebody that builds websites on high level whether it's for yourself or for clients and you want to have all of these cool effects that i'm kind of showing you in these videos this resource will literally take your high level websites to the next level even if you don't know any code at all so click the link in the description and get your own copy